Hello friends and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Sorry for any banging you can hear outside. Apparently my neighbor is getting yard work done. Not like the biggest problem in the world, it's just I would not have filmed today had I known. Today's video is going to be just talking about five books that I cannot believe I still have not read. I have a small stack here that I just cannot believe I have not gotten to yet for a couple of different reasons for each book. I'm hoping that this will give me some sense of accountability and remind me that I bought these so I I should I should read them. Book number one that I can't believe I have not read yet is gonna be Ice Planet Barbarians. This has been a five-star prediction for quite a while. I filmed that video like a year or two now ago and so I still have not picked it up since. I literally, my manager even bought copies to sell at our store because I recommended it and I still haven't picked it up. So I'm very excited too. This is a smutty romance that has to do with aliens and they want to breed with the humans from what I understand. There are a bit of content warnings for this one. I think there's like kidnapping, stuff like that. But I love the redone covers. I think the original covers were um, kind of tragedies. So I think these are beautiful and I really, it's like a 15 book series and I want to read it. So still can't believe I haven't. And I hope that this reminds me to do so. The next two that I can't believe I have not read yet are actually some mangas that I have. The first one is I Want to Eat Your Pancreas. This is by Yoru Sumino. This I believe is like the only collection in the story. I don't think this spans multiple volumes, but it has to do with a young boy and a young girl who meet and I believe the girl develops or has pancreatic cancer and he's the only one that she tells about it. I think it says here it's a bittersweet romance, so I know it's gonna hurt me. And I, maybe that's why I've been putting it off, but I think it's mostly just, I've heard such amazing things and this cover is so stunning. It's so pretty. And I just don't, I don't want to experience it and then never be able to experience it for the first time again. Do you ever have that feeling with a book where you just know your first time reading is gonna be so special, so you don't want to get it over with. That's kind of where I'm at with this one. Then kind of in the opposite end, where that one I was kind of putting off because it's gonna be sweet and emotional. This next one, I think is gonna freak me out. And that is Blood on the Tracks by Shuzo Oshimi. This has been super popular on booktube right now. People are really enjoying it. I heard a lot of overlap between like Bates Motel and Psycho and then like their relationship is like similar relationship where it's like a weird twisted thing between a mother and a son. I think the mother is like kind of psycho. I've worked really hard to avoid looking up much about this. I think I've said it in many videos now. You all know I don't like to know a ton about what I'm going to be picking up, but I love some twisty dark things. I don't know if this is considered a horror manga. Maybe let me know if you know a little bit more or if it's just like a psychological thriller manga. I'm really looking forward to giving this one a try hopefully sooner rather than later because this also has like 10 to 15 volumes that are out now I could be picking up and consuming. This next book that I still cannot believe I have not picked up is one that I just kind of am like sad because I can never relate or really join in on conversations about it. I don't hear conversations a ton about it, but I want to be able to chime in. I'm an opinionated person and I want to share those opinions when asked, when asked, but I want to share those opinions. And when I can't, I kind of just go, okay. <laughs> so that is going to be A Little Life by Hanya Yanagahira. I know this one's really referred to as like torture porn or like emotional trauma porn. I don't really care. I like sad books. I've said that before and I will continue to say it. I think this cover is actually really pretty. I was doing this book for our bookish bingo night. Like this was one of the books that I pulled out and I kept calling it angst. I would like go like this and be like, this book has angst on the cover. So I know that this follows I believe four 
teenage, early 20 year old boys. It like, that's where it starts is them moving to New York City and kind of growing up in New York City together. And then it spans, I believe, a much longer time of their life. I started this book once. I believe I got a digital copy and then I stopped. I want to say less than 3% in. It was super, super early, but I stopped because I wanted to own a copy and I was really, really trying to find a hardcover. I'm so happy I finally did. But because of that, I just never continued quite yet. I do remember though that bit that I read and it was quite a while ago. So the writing was definitely standing out to me and I just really look forward to crying. Then the last book on my list, which is probably the most shocking book to me that I have never read, especially because I have wanted this copy that I have for so very, very long. Like the minute Book Depository announced they were closing, I went Bing! and I ordered this because I, I just knew that I had always wanted it and needed to have it. And that is going to be Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. This is the gorgeous UK hardcover. I think it is just... <laughs> Oh, so stunning. This is a queer love story between Achilles and Patroclus. I know what's gonna happen. I know, wow, I chose a lot of sad books for this. Like three out of five are pretty sad books. Maybe, hmm, maybe, maybe that's why. Why I haven't picked these up. But I'll have to do like a sad reading vlog and read just like three of the sad, saddest books. Anyway, so this is the love story between the two of them. It's based on the Greek mythology, and I absolutely love Circe. I've read it a couple times. I really enjoyed Galatea. I bought that as soon as I read it as well. I think that that's a really stunning short story. Madden Miller just does such a great job of bringing humanity to these mythic characters and these stories that have been retold time and time again, but she finds a way to, like I said, really humanize them and bring them down to earth. So I'm really excited to pick this up. Her writing I know is going to blow me away. This copy blows me away. I was actually so sad because at work I do run the book clubs and I tried desperately, desperately to get the club to choose this as August's pick and they refused. They were like, I don't wanna read something sad. And I said, I can't relate to that. So yeah, there it goes. There goes another opportunity at picking up Song of Achilles, but one day, one day. So there you all have it. Thanks so much for watching and stopping by and seeing my small little stack of books that I just cannot believe I have not read yet. Please let me know down below if you have picked them up, what you thought of them. If you think I should do a sad reading vlog where I just read three of these heartbreaking books. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed and subscribe if you want to see more from me and I will see you in my next one.